want to go flounder fishing? Well then let's. The Route 50 bridge has been holding flounder late into the season this year. It's November for Pete's sake and there's still fish biting north of the bridge. I just went out and caught some awesome bait. I'm going to show you some cool rigs that I keep in my tackle box. Maybe catch a fish or two. Hooked on OC is coming at you in just a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Do you love fishing? Then Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel go-to locale. Our newly expanded fishing section features Salt Life, Hook, Pelagic, Guy Harvey, Under Armour, Salty Crew, Mad Ruiz, and Patagonia. Of course, the largest selection of white marlin open tees anywhere. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel hotspot. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. And you can even spin that away if you want to tell people that. All right, so in the off season, usually last part of October, the Department of Natural Resources lifts the no wake zone here in the inlet. So what you're used to seeing, a six mile an hour marker right inside the inlet, a six mile an hour marker right inside the cut there behind Assateague Island, and another six mile an hour marker way up but on the other side of Ninth Street, those are gone. But they still want you to use common sense. If you get on top of a boat, slow down. If you're looking over here like Martha's Landing, all these boats are over here anchored up against Martha's Landing. Slow down. Don't be that guy when you're coming into the Route 50 bridge or one of these spots. Just because the six mile an hour is lifted, doesn't mean you gotta take advantage of it all the time. I passed a guy just a few minutes ago. I was less than 25 feet away from him. He was full tilt boogie right down the middle of the bay. I, common sense in hand, slow down for him. That's just what you should do. Common courtesy is going to get you a long way when you're fishing back here in the bay and it gets crowded. All right, so we just got out here and we're going to do some fishing north of the Route 50 bridge. As these fish stage up to get ready to head offshore, they kind of start coming out of the estuaries and creeks and behind Assateague and north part of the bay by the thoroughfare, and they start to get ready for their exit out the inlet to head offshore for the winter. And this is a great spot. I'm surprised they're here this much, uh, this late in the year. I mean, we're fishing in November and the weather is absolutely beautiful. Um, and to have fishing like this, this late in the year for flounder is a pretty exciting thing. Doesn't happen every year. And flounder fishing overall this summer wasn't the greatest, uh, but it's kind of turning on now over the past couple of weeks and it's gotten really good. So what I want to do is I want to tell you what I've got in my tackle box. I'm going to let you behind the black curtain on what I keep in my box. And it's no secret, man. Everybody's got this stuff. If you fish Ocean City long enough, you've got these kind of rigs. I tie a lot of my own stuff, so I'll show you what I use to do that. And I've got some custom rigs from Dale Timmons. I'll show you a couple of those too. And some stock rigs. AquaClear makes a good rig. They've got those over at Atlantic Tackle. Several different types of rigs. Most of them will work for you in different circumstances. Here's the box. I got a nice tackle bag that I keep this in. I've got another bag with lures in it for when we're throwing stuff at the Route 50 bridge or the Route 90 bridge or the Verrazano bridge for rockfish, bluefish, that sort of thing. Roy rigs are in there, obviously, along with, um, along with some other lures. And this is the flounder box. So everything that I keep for making rigs or rigs themselves, I keep in here. 
I tie a lot of my own stuff. So I keep beads. I've got, I prefer these little glow in the dark green beads. Dale Timmons has got these on his Deadly Doubles, and that's her. Little green bead. You put four or five of those on top of the hook on the main line for the leader, and then it'll keep your skirts from going too far down. So basically what you do is you snell your hook on, your hook's here, you put four or five of those beads on, and then this hook will run into the beads rather than run into the top of the hook, the eye of the hook. So you can actually have it sit up a little bit further from the hook, which is good because a lot of guys will cut these. All you need to do is put some beads in between there and you'll, you'll take, do the same purpose. Uh, I like this, this is a really good one. I like this in the spring. That pink Mylar is really good stuff. It's got a little bit of shine in there too with some pearl thrown in. That's one of my favorites. Hey, look at this, we're getting photo bomb and we love it. All right, straight pink bucktail is another favorite during the spring. And I just didn't use these in the spring when I tied some stuff up for the spring, but these are really good in the spring. They look like kind of like a grass shrimp color and that's a lot of what they eat when they show up first part of uh, April, last part of March. Small Gamagatsu hooks. I'll show you the white ones too. I'm not, I'm not too secretive. All right, there's the white one. White, chartreuse, and pink are the mainstays for flounder fishing in the bay behind Ocean City. Some people use purple, some people use black. All different, it's a personal preference. I think the fish seem to like white, chartreuse, and pink under most circumstances. Now here's my small Gamagatsu hook. This is the octopus size one, and that's for my springtime fishing. So when I'm putting live minnows or live shiners, not live shiners, frozen shiners, or grass shrimp if I can find them, I'm using smaller hooks like this because the bait's a little bit smaller, all right? And then, three-way swivels. Every once in a while, I'll throw a three-way swivel on there rather than using a barrel swivel and the sinker on the main line. Spinner blades, spinner blades in case I get a, you know, I lose just one rig off of my deadly double spinner blade, I can replace the spinner blade only. You don't have to replace the entire rig. Sinker slides. Don't use these a lot, but I do under certain circumstances. Sinker slide is made for this. You put your main line through here. Ball bearing swivel goes to your rig. And then the sinker slide runs into it, bam. So your rig can be back here, trailing as long as you'd like it to. And this will be the stopping point for it. And then this rides up the main line. So as a flounder or another fish picks it up, the sinker can sit on the bottom and he can take the rig away and not feel the weight of the sinker. Sinker slide's a good one to have in a box. Gamagatsu laser sharp hooks. These bad boys are really, really nice. Mustad work too. Size 3.0 and 4.0 are the ones that'll get you the best bang for your buck as far as flounder fishing is concerned when you're using large minnows, live spot, live bunker like we're gonna be using today. Offset eye here so you can snell your own hook on there if you feel like it. And these bad boys are laser sharp, man. Gamagatsu makes one of the sharpest hooks in the business. So that's what I use. These are also the same hooks that are on Dale's Deadly Double Rigs that we'll be using today. And then a large assortment of stuff, all right? That's the Deadly Double that we're gonna be using today. I'll show you that in a little bit more detail in just a couple of minutes when we get started. That is the orange and chartreuse beads with the silver spinner blades. He makes these in all sorts of different colors and sizes. My wife, Kristen, likes the pink and the purple. Those have been productive for her. I, I tend to like the uh, silver and the chartreuse during the summer. In the spring, I'm so mad I lost it too. Dale made me one that was pink. Flat plinks, fat, fat plink. Flat pink spinner blades, pink beads. I mushed the flounder this spring on them. Caught some really nice fish. That's one of the rigs I make with the small red Gamagatsu hooks. All right, there's those green beads I told you about. White skirt, good stuff. That's when you go big. I use these offshore on the wrecks. You go with Captain Monty, Captain Chris on the angler, Captain Victor on Ocean Princess. Use these because those fish can be a little bit bigger, a little bit more aggressive. So you can use a little bit bigger bait with a little bit bigger hook. They were having a contest on the Morning Star last year on who could catch a flounder on the biggest bait. And I think it was something like 16 inches long somebody caught a flounder on. And then here's a couple of custom, custom boys I do. The fly guy, way back when, gave me a couple of these custom tied flies. And if that doesn't look like a bunker, I don't know what does. That one and that one. They look just like a bunker. So same thing, this time of the year, 
If I can't find any bunker, I'll get one of those. I'll put a five inch gulp on it, something like that. But guess what? I do have bunker. I've got bunker, I've got sharp hooks, I've got Dale Timmons deadly doubles on the end of this thing. We are gonna get started here in just a minute and we're gonna try some flounder fishing at the Route 50 bridge and you do not wanna go away. See you in a second, they're calling my name again. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Check out the savings with Racetrack Auto and Marine. We're your one-stop marine center on Route 589. Racetrack Marine is an authorized Yamaha, Century, and Montego Bay dealer. We broker and buy used boats and offer trailer sales and repair. Take advantage of our winterization stow and go packages and receive a $50 discount. Don't wait to buy your boat. Come see us now for boat show pricing. Racetrack Auto and Marine. Only one light beer has more taste, less calories, and half the carbs. This one. Miller Lite. Hold true. Hi, honey. Hey, you. So I was thinking we really need to get away. What about that month-long cruise in the Mediterranean? Hey, book it first class. Oh my gosh, you're the best. So I'm out shopping right now and I found these really cute pair of heels. How much are they? Um, they're about $1,000. For that price, get two. Oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, whose phone is this? And now back for more Hooked on OC. Now be careful around the bridge, bro. Careful around the bridge. Most important thing is safety. I obviously do not want to be in the bridge. But I also don't want to lose this fish. paid off. Get us away from the bridge a little bit. There's flounder all over the bay. There's no two ways about that, but they love structure. I'll never forget, I went to an aquarium in New York one time and it had a basically mid-Atlantic fish of the Atlantic out there uh, display out there. And I was surprised to see flounder not laying flat on the bottom, but actually up on the structure, on the side of, you know, boats and rocks and this phony stuff that they had that <coughs> was supposed to look like the, you know, a wreck or a reef off the coast of the mid-Atlantic. And these flounder were uh, like suspending themselves up in it, inside portholes and things like that, where before I saw that, I thought they laid flat on the bottom and that was it. <coughs> All right, let's give me a measure. I'm out of breath. Handy dandy measuring tool. Always measure these guys flat, okay? Best thing to do is just lay them flat out on the on the boat, flat surface. And you always want to start from the nose with the mouth closed. The mouth has got to be closed. Zero inches. I'm looking for 17, and I'm not getting there. Ah, freaking rat farts! But these fish have been super, super healthy in the fall this year. What they're doing right now is they're feeding, trying to get fattened up so they head offshore. 
and they head off to the deep 50, 60 miles off the beach. Thousand fathoms of water they go out to. The guys out there are uh, netting squid. We'll catch them during the winter, January, February, and then obviously they'll come back this way March, April, and start heading back into our bays. But that's a beautiful flounder eating peanut bunker by the Route 50 bridge. All right, there he goes. Thank you. I think there's a bigger one out there. Right on. Okay, so one of my setups for flounder fishing is this Calcutta TE. I don't even think they make this size anymore. This is the 250. Calcutta TE 250 TE stands for total efficiency, which I can vouch for. I took this reel in for the first time ever in the 16 or 17 years that I've owned it just a couple of weeks ago to Dennis over there at Atlantic Tackle. He gave it an oil lube job and all that sort of thing and now it's running even better than it was before that. But it was still in great shape. I've got that with 20 pound uh, monofilament that Lynn Jarman also at Atlantic Tackle filled for me. And that is on my JPR custom rod. That's right, it's the curly Q. Showed you guys this before. The eyes actually curl around the rod so that the line never touches the blank as you're catching fish. Sometimes it'll snap off the end there as the, as the rod starts to get a bow in it. The line will actually touch and you feel that little flick, flick, flick at the top. That doesn't do this with this because it always touches the guide as it goes around the rod. I've got that down to a Dale Timmons Deadly Double. Unfortunately, they are, they are no longer available for retail sale, but they might be. Stay tuned. That's tied right here. It all comes together. Dale ties these for me every single year. Me and my wife, Kristen, he ties us about a dozen rigs every year because he's a good friend of ours. Ball bearing swivel up top. Part one of the deadly double up here. Chartreuse and red spinner blades. Or shoot, excuse me, chartreuse and red beads. Silver spinner blade. That's a gami hook. Laser sharp gami octopus hook. Goes down about two feet to the intersection of our sinker. Drops down here about 10 inches to our two ounce sinker. Simple clip there to part two of the deadly double. Same exact thing as part one up top. This is a really big rig. You can see this, I'll stand back for you. This thing covers about four feet. So when I've got these big baits on there, they can actually get away from the sinker, swim around a little bit. So when the tide slows down like it does right now, we have an opportunity to cover a little bit more area. And I'm using one of my favorite baits when it comes to flounder fishing. Flounder love peanut bunker. This is an alwai. I caught these over in the canal earlier this morning. They absolutely love these dudes. You take him, sometimes you go through the tip of the lips. I don't like that. I like to grab a little piece of the eye socket and then go through the other so eye socket so it leaves a little hinge there. You can see he's just, he's just on there simple, loose as can be, nice hinge, and he'll run into the, the barb of the hook so he won't fall off real easily. If they get real active, sometimes they'll just splash themselves off of there, but usually not. Got to keep these guys in a live well because if they are not in a live well, they are going to die. They need aeration badly. So drop it down, let it hit the bottom, See what's up and hopefully uh, uh, got him on. The man, the myth, the legend, big bird cropper. What's up, bird? I got one keeper. Do you? Yeah. Killer. We just called a throwback. I'm looking for the keeper. Not surprised to hear he called a keeper. What, what's Betty caught this on Betty caught it on a Roy rig. Hey Bird, what you catching on? The inside of that sandbar right there is where we're getting our keeper. Right. On this side of it. What you catch the keeper on? Uh, Berkeley Gulf, white. White Gulf. Yep. Gotcha. Rockfish on the Roy rig. The Roy rig for the rockfish. Caught the uh, flounder on a Berkeley Gulf. Berkeley Gulf works. Um, they've got them at all the local tackle shops. Atlantic Tackle has got a gigantic selection of the Berkeley Gold products, and they do work. I don't know if they work better than live bait like they claim, but um, it's up for debate now, whereas before I would have probably thought, yeah, nothing can beat live bait. Those things work really, really well, but when I got an opportunity to get these bad boys, I'm going for it. It's not crashing. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. 
Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore, available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu, including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. For over 50 years, the Oceanic Pier has been one of Ocean City's favorite fishing spots. There's no need for a license, and we have on-site rod rentals, bait, and tackle. Come and go as you please for 12 hours for just $8 a person. The Oceanic Pier is on the inlet in downtown Ocean City. This summer, why not bring your staff, your office, your team, or your organization for an unforgettable day of fun at Jolly Roger Amusement Park. 35 acres of some of the best rides, attractions, and amusements right here in Ocean City, Maryland. Splash Mountain Water Park, Miniature Golf, Amusement Rides, and the East Coast's largest go-kart track, Speed World. So for a great day of fun, call Dean Langrell at Jolly Roger Group Sales and let him put together a package to fit your needs and your budget. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an Optical Galleria? Did you know an Optical Galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an Optical Galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple, an Optical Galleria can help you see. Make an Optical Galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store. Showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, artificial lures and leads, apparel and eyewear from industry leaders like Connolly Fishing, Versatech, Bait Masters, Costa, Pelagic, Hook, Sperry, Mojo, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. You running? You rolling? I gotta look at this fish. Ah! Blast you, Route 50 Bridge! I gotta look at this fish. It's one of those fish, man. It, look, one of my rules since I worked on the Tortuga back in the day with Dan Lampy, he said, keep the fish's head in the water. So I'm doing that, I'm gonna grab the net, and I'm gonna give him a scoop. Because I don't wanna lose a potential keeper. And as I net him, I realize he's probably not. But! Same thing, same thing. Self set up. Give myself a little bump away from the bridge. I don't want to run into the thing. That appease the flounder dance gods. Man, these fish are fat. They are fat, man. He's not gonna make it either. I'm not even measuring them. These fish are fat. Look at this. Shorty is full, man. He looks like he just walked out of the Golden Corral. That thing is stuffed. Look at him from the bottom. Both sides bulging out. If he was a keeper, I'd give him a little slice down there when I was cleaning and find out exactly what he's eating. I know he's eating bunker. He ate the wrong bunker under this boat. <laughs> but beautiful flounder, man. They're hanging around here a really, really long time because this water is really warm for November. It's green, you know, it doesn't look the greatest, but they're hanging out in it before they take off. And that's exactly what I told you a couple minutes ago. They are filling up for the long journey offshore. Look at that bump. <laughs> look at that. Notice any similarity? Going back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to jprrods.com. I was used for an oil change. Someone used me to renew their license. To help the in-laws move. I was used for traffic court. If we're not used in the next month, we're going to expire. Come on, people! Don't your vacation days deserve better? Treat them right with a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Enjoy 10 miles of free beach, great places to stay, and a fun-filled boardwalk. Visit OCOcean.com and don't miss free family events like 100 Nights of Lights. 
North Bay Marina has your new boat in stock and ready for delivery. Pontoon boats with industry-leading 27-inch diameter pontoons that are engineered for comfort and versatility. They're perfect for family fishing, wakeboarding, or sunset cruising. North Bay also has a huge selection of fishing boats to get you to your favorite fishing spot in style. And the North Bay Service Department can handle any repair, including on-site fiberglass. Get on board for fun at North Bay Marina, Route 54, just west of Fenwick Island. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We appreciate you tuning in to Hooked on OC this morning and every Sunday morning starting at... 7 o'clock. Yeah! Dan Parker's got it. That's right, 7 o'clock. We're an hour long now. We are getting some awesome, awesome feedback about going to an hour. So we're glad that we did it. Good call, Dave Messick. Way to go. Woo. We're doing a really good thing here at Crabs to Go, right on the corners of Route 50 and 589. It's off season now, right? Quote unquote off season. Cause it's off season. Do we really have one now around here any anymore? And I'm with the Parkers. Dan Parker, co-owner of Crabs to Go, and Jamie Parker. Woo. What's up, good? You guys can Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Love it. And what we do is this time of year we talk about stuff that you have on the menu. We're gonna you guys are obviously crabs to go. You got wings for football. You got stuff that we're going to do during the uh, holiday season. So right. why don't you tell me what you got going on right now? And then Jamie's going to tell us about the holiday stuff and party platters and peeled and deveined shrimp, that sort of thing. Uh, you got it backwards. Jamie's going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about that. Well, see, that's why I do what I do. <laughs> All right. Jamie's so I will start this, off with the And we'll go to the, the crab wings. specialist in a second. I'll start off with the wings. We carry these throughout the fall and winter season for you football fans. And if you're not a football fan, you still like wings. They're awesome wings. Um, yes, they're awesome. Uh, we cook them in-house. Um, <laughs> pictured here, we have um, our eight-piece wings that we sell for $8. We have four different uh, types of sauces that we do. They're all homemade. Um, so here we have our mild sauce and our garlic Old Bay sauce, two of my favorites. Um, served with the side of blue cheese and celery, you can't beat it. Uh, we also do a 20 piece and a 40 piece. Um, so whatever, however hungry, hungry you are, call up and get your wings. Um, we also do smoked salmon. Um, we're gonna be carrying this about all the time right now. We smoke it in house, uh, right here in front of Crabs to Go. Um, we do it all ourselves, and we serve it with a homemade moutard sauce. So you guys should try that out. It's really good paired together. Mark's the official. Uh, Mark fish is smoker, the official right? fish smoker. Yep. It. And um, also, things. also not out here because it's sold out because mm. it sells so good. Uh, we have a homemade smoked salmon dip. That's a huge hit here. Um, we home make it all the time with this smoked salmon, so and it's <laughs> <laughs> it's to die for. So you guys got to try it out. Our smoked salmon dip. We sell a half pound for ten dollars, or just get a chunk of smoked salmon by itself. Either way, you can't go wrong. <clears throat> the dip is awesome. It's great. It's actually one of the better fish tips that I've had yeah. in round, much less um, mm -hmm. you know, and locally. Sound. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really good. That smoked fish is a key ingredient in it, but man, the, the, whatever you got <laughs> going on in that smoked fish dip is really, really good. All right, so crabs are in season but pretty much year round because you guys get them from the south during the off, off season. Right. Maryland crabs are available until December, middle part of December, right? Uh, December 15th is, uh, is the official cutoff date. Uh, okay. A lot of crabbers, it, it's going to be weather permitting. Right. Uh, if it gets cold and nasty, uh, they'll quit. But I mean, right sure. now, uh, there's uh, there will be a couple of diehards go until December 15th. And can you expect this kind of quality all year long, even from the guys coming from the south? I mean, they're not Maryland crabs. We get that. Um, well, I mean, we're a little bit biased. I mean, uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, we think, and uh, because it's the truth, I mean, uh, Maryland crabs are they are the best. Yeah, yeah they're the best. They're the best. Uh, they're the best. But Louisiana crabs and crabs from the south, they're good. And when you they're guys good. have them yes. all season, the yes. Maryland crabs aren't available. It's an awesome alternative. Absolutely. Okay. Very Absolutely. Good. And party platter season is like the day after tomorrow. We're, we're going to be into Thanksgiving. Christmas, New Year's, all that oh, stuff yes. where you guys are yep. really super busy. You do peel and deveined shrimp. You got to call ahead, right? You got to call ahead. Uh, we do a lot over uh, Christmas and, uh, and New Year's. I mean, some, uh, some over Thanksgiving also. Uh, but it's uh, very, very good. It, it's, I mean, for the party, it's, yep. all you got to do is stop in, pick it up, and go, and, uh, and you're there. And listen, there's, a, there's something to be said about having it ready to go because you pop the lid and then you start eating shrimp. You don't have to sit there and peel shrimp all day. And That's all right, yeah. You're just grabbing it and We going. do the work for you. You do the, work, <laughs> you do the work for us and it's a really great alternative to sitting there at home with a pound of peeled shrimp and going on. And plus, your guests are gonna really love it if you get it for somebody where you're having a party or something. Absolutely. Speaking of parties, party platter. I'm gonna hold this up because I, I think I threw one of these on you guys last year on like Christmas morning and you still <laughs> delivered. I was a little bit late and premature 
Um, Only because, because it's you, Scott. I know, <laughs> but I don't like doing that to people. But you did, and I appreciated it very much, and it was absolutely delicious. It was the hit of our party. Uh, what we have on here, and you can mix and match, but I mean, this is uh, what we call uh, the mini party platter. Yep. We got a half a pound of crab balls, half a pound of barbecue shrimp, half a pound of barbecue scallops, and a half a pound of uh, your butter garlic scallops. And you get all that for $79. Remember that because we first year we did this segment, we actually put this up there. I don't think we had a price on it. People were coming in saying, hey, the party platter I saw on Hook on OC, how much does that cost? We get it straight. This is 79 bucks, half pound of mix and match, whatever you feel like putting on there as far as these are concerned. Or anything else available? We also have, uh, uh, you can do uh, three quarters of a pound of each, or you can do a pound of each. I okay. mean, it's, uh, I think the three quarter pound is... Uh, 119 and if you do a pound of everything it's 150 okay. but you can mix and match anything you want i mean if you don't like scallops we yeah. can do more shrimp if you don't like the crab it's just, this can be all just, crab balls if i wanted that build uh, your own platter yeah, yeah. It, it's i mean i mean we have an itemized price for everything there we go so there it is that's i'm gonna hold that up again because dave i want you to get a good shot of that dave like i said this was the hit of our party last year and we kind of just at the last minute we're like hey lennox you're supposed to bring this and i'm like oh, okay and uh dan <laughs> dan <laughs> But try not to be last minute. Don't do what <laughs> Let I us did. know ahead of time. Yeah, yeah we like 24-hour notice if, uh, if possible. And if you can give us more, uh, especially Christmas Eve. Uh, Christmas Eve Cheers. is our busiest day <laughs> of the winter. Mm. So good, man. It is so good. Look at that barbecue shrimp. Bacon wrap barbecue shrimp. <laughs> I'm going to one bite. I think the only reason Scott does these segments is because he likes to eat. I love you guys, too. Come on in. Come on in. What about that cake, though? Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> Jamie said you can have your cake and eat it, too. Yeah, sure real can. quick. Tell me about that. All right. So this here is a Smith Island cookies and cream cake. I believe there's 10 layers in this bad boy, and we sell them all the time. You guys have been asking about them, oh um, and we have it. We have them every day. It's good stuff. You all know Smith Island cakes. Can't go wrong. That's delicious, man. This is definitely not on my Atkins carb pre diet. <laughs> well, when are you starting that? Yeah, right. <laughs> he ain't afraid. Yum! <laughs> Jamie, you want a bite? Yeah. Here we go. I'm not sick, are you? Do You're I? You're an icing person. No. No, okay. We gotta give her the biggest bite. Oh, of my gosh. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Smith Island cake, fresh seafood, hot fat crabs. Corners of Route 50 and 589. You might even see me in here because I've had people ask me, what, you must own a place, right? No, I don't. These guys do, and they do an awesome job. And I appreciate and love them very much. See you after the break. Woo. This is so good. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Fenwick Bait and Tackle, located in Fenwick Island, Delaware, has everything you need for inshore fishing. They also have a full line of live, fresh, and frozen bait and all your supplies for crabbing and clamming. Fenwick Tackle is located just over the Maryland-Delaware line in tax-free Fenwick Island, Delaware. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. I went to reel up my bait and now I've got I've got tension. I never felt a bump. I never felt a bump, skiddly bump, skiddly bump. So I don't know if this is a fish or not. But as I pull up, I feel a little bit of weight. It could be grass. 
I don't want to yank it out of a fish's mouth, miss a potential flounder, but I also haven't felt the... Ah, could always be a crab. He, look, he jumped up, bit him. He jumped up, bit him in half, and said, "See ya." All right. So these fish have been hanging out close to these pilings. It's been around. Big bird. Big bird's drifting himself toward the pilings. He said he's been catching fish off of that sandbar on this side of it as he gets closer to the bridge because, like I told you, they like structure. So that's what I'm doing. I got a really nice drift. The wind's kind of keeping us this way because it's blowing out of the south. So I don't have to worry about the pilings too much. And I'm trying to just drift down along the bridge rather than through it or to it so I can catch this piling by piling by piling. Whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Same thing I felt a second ago with that crab. I haven't felt the bump, bump, skiddly bump. That's the bump. That's what I'm looking for. Just felt the bump. That is a flounder sniffing my bait. Checking things out. I let the rod bend to him. That is a flounder. There's a flounder picking my bait up. And that is me hooking a flounder. Oh, buddy, stay on here. Good with the bridge. That's a better fish. That is a better fish. Good with the bridge. Right. Oh, look at that. Perfect hook set right through the nose, like it should be. Almost like I put it there. Whoa, boom. Look at that. I gotta measure this bad boy. On the deck. Bridge action jump bump. I could tell because I was getting in the shadows. When you get in the shadows of the bridge in the middle of the day, you're close to the bridge. All right, here we go. A little separation. Same thing, go to the end of my tape. Make sure I got my thumb on the zero. Mouth closed. Across, 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 across. Get, 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 get there, get there. and a half brother 17 inches is tough to get to but that did it oh yeah buddy he hadn't been eating as much as his buddy down there he just got started he must have been on a salad bar by the time he decided to eat my bunker but he shouldn't have eaten it should he <laughs> I love flounder fishing and I love this word paralichthys dentatus going in the box John Fraser's gonna be like, what's he yelling about? That drift right along the pilings, man. It's pretty good. You start that way. If you bump it forward, you can keep yourself off. Direct access to some of the best inshore fishermen in Ocean City. That's what Fishing OC gets for us. John Prather, Pit Boss, Captain Jeff Coates, Captain Jason Mumford, Captain Brad McCabe. The list goes on and on. If you want to do some bow fishing, we got Captain Mark Spagnola. Fishingoc.com. Check it all out. If you want photos of all this stuff that we do, you want to buy some awesome Hooked on OC t-shirts, see our videos, every new update of the show, hookedonoc.com.
Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Winterfest of Lights is 25 this year, so we'll celebrate its anniversary November 16th through December 31st. Don't miss Kris Kringle's Corner, Winterfest Marlin Marketplace, and your traditional favorites, not to mention all the new holiday decor. Enjoy a musical ride through 58 acres of holiday displays on the Winterfest Express, including one new design that will surely light your way. I'll be there, and I'll see you and yours soon. Merry Christmas to all, and for all these beautiful lights. Ho, ho, ho! Sunset Provisions has everything you need for a day on the water, including groceries and snacks, marine supplies, apparel for every season, ice, sodas, beer and wine, inshore and offshore tackle, Costa sunglasses, Bait Masters Tournament Whining Ballyhoo, and the best live bait selection in town. Call Sunset Provisions at 410-213-0081 or stop by just inside the west entrance of Sunset Marina in West Ocean City. This is the original light beer. And 40 years later, we still brew it the same way. Because when you get something right, you don't mess with it. Miller Light, hold true. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. This week we are bringing you the Angler's Advantage from Atlantic Tackle down on the east end of Sunset Avenue on the right hand side toward the south, right across from Sunset Grill. It's the holiday season, so if you've got eight nights of Hanukkah gifts to get or 12 days of Christmas gifts to get, this is the place to do it. Okay, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me everything that Yeti carries. Atlantic Tackle has got an insane amount of Yeti products here. Coolers, mugs, cups, tumblers, Yeti ice, all the accessories that go with the coolers. Lock it down so nobody takes off with it. I'll tell you about a couple of them right here. Even the new stuff. Ounces sizes from 10 ounces all the way to 30 ounces. Here's the new 14 ounce mug. New color right here is brick red. All of these come in three different colors. They've got some custom stuff out. Here's the Duracoat in black with the custom sport fish boat on the front. Here's the Marlin and the 32 ounce tumbler. All right, look at this, all the way up to this joker. This thing's a half gallon. If you guys are in the woods, you're going for those rockfish early in the morning, you need a half gallon of coffee for four or six guys out there trolling for those rockfish, this is the way to go. Comes with a custom size mount, goes on any of your coolers, mount it on the side of the boat if you need to. And speaking of coolers, 35 quart all the way to 250 quart are all right here. Three different color sizes in the coolers. Pink is about to go. These are the last two they've got in stock. Who knows when they're going to make them again. All this stuff is matte pricing, so it's not going to be any cheaper anywhere else. You got the blue, you've got the pink, They've got one custom color back there left in that camo greenish color, all right? We've got bags here. See a lot of captains walking around with this bag. It's super convenient with the shoulder strap. Four different colors in the bucket. Durable stuff, they've really made a name, and I'm getting one of these. Here's the loadout bucket. This is for anybody. Fisherman, this is your new tackle box. Construction worker, this is your new tool bag, tool bucket. Get over here and get it. And after day one, comes day two. All right, on the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a new pen international. 
Thanks, son. I've been really good this year. 80 series all the way down to 30. Look at this bad boy. And Penn's up in their game, all right? They've got new lightweight side plates, new lightweight aluminum body. I almost said aluminum because I've heard that on TV. Two-speed here, right? Look how quick this two-speed is. Push a button, you're in two gear, push the black, you're back out. Ergonomically correct handle. And the new silver reel is something they started just a few years ago. I hadn't even seen it until last year. This is one of the smartest things they've done in a while. Why? Because they match perfectly with all sorts of fishing rods that are super popular with the offshore fleet. That is a beautiful setup on this custom made Versatex here at Atlantic Tackle. Come get one. All right, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me some new Sitka hunting gear. I do hunt, I'm a deer hunter, turkey hunter, don't do much waterfowl hunting, but there's a ton of you guys out there, and this is the place to come get this Sitka. It is really super nice. This is one of the jackets I'd probably wear in the woods for deer hunting. Got a spot for my deer call, spot for my binoculars, too many pockets to mention. Super quiet, windproof, it's gonna, the wind's gonna knock it right down when it gets to you, and when you pull the bow back, you can notice you really don't hear anything, so you don't need to worry about scaring that deer off. Comes in a full bib, so when it gets really chilly, you got those single digit temperatures in the morning, put this on, don't need to worry about it. Probably don't even worry about putting the long johns on. And the waterfowl stuff is pretty unbelievable. 100% waterproof, windproof, got a spot for your duck calls up front, and if it gets too hot, these vents underneath open right up to cool you down. Speaking of hot, we're rolling right along. Day number four. All right, so I've been getting all this nice stuff, so on day four, I got my true love something. Boom, Grundon's Weather Watch for ladies. Beautiful stuff, 100% waterproof. And we've got boots for you too. The extra tough line of boots comes in navy blue with a pink accent and teal green for the ladies. And we've also got the Salmon Sisters line. Really cool line, there's the folded and unfolded version. Extra tough for guys too, we didn't leave you out. I know you've seen that one on the dock. Day five, coming up. All right, on the fifth day of Christmas, we were lucky enough to get something from each other, from Muck Boot. And I'm not talking Muck Boot that you call any old dirty old boot that you throw in the garage. I'm talking the original Muck Boot Company. Guys, the short, the tall, 100% waterproof, the camo for the hunter in you. These are super fresh. All right, I'll see you at the Ocean City Marlin Club Awards in that. Ladies, didn't forget you. The anchor design. Another one in the tall. And my favorite, females that shoot are super cool with me. And this boot fits you perfect. On the sixth day of Christmas, I've been waiting for this one. My true love gave to me a new pair of Costa sunglasses. A couple of new ones too. Slack Tide is new this year. Only a couple of pairs in stock here. Bayside is new this year. Two hot new frame colors. And new colors. Here we go. Race gray and Bahama blue. Those are going to be super hot colors this summer. Really nice. They're coming out with some really cool stuff, Costa Del Mar. Getting with the trends. That race gray comes with a red highlight. It also comes with black uh, highlights, blue highlights in the back. And check out that fade. And during the holiday season, $36 gets you a new Costa hat and t-shirt or free with the purchase of a pair. All right, on the seventh day of Christmas, it was up to me to get my true love something again. So it's this awesome end cap here at Atlantic Tackle that was set up originally for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it's all pink and super cool. Limited edition Yeti tumbler, just for the ladies. That's going away fast. All the pink you can think of, the pink gulp line, pink hats from Penn, pink shirts from Penn, and this super limited edition Penn Passion. All the way from the 2500 up to the 5000 size reel, any purchase of the Penn Passion or a Passion combo gets you a free Penn hat or a shirt. And this is not just some run of the mill reel with pink on it, all right? This is the version of the battle. Captain Nick Clemente on the Get Some has the battle on his boat every single day, charter boat fishing during the summer, so you can guarantee it's a quality product. All right, on the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 
some Islander lures, and some stuff to make some my own at home. Yeah, they've got a full line of Islander lures, every single piece you can think of, and stuff to make your own at home. Want to save a couple bucks? They get that here. Crystal to blue. Crystal to pink. Crystal to green. All the heads and everything that go with it. And these play action hydro dip belts that are super fly. Look how easy this is. Boom, on to day nine. All right, on the ninth day of Christmas, the True Love and I got something for the kids. Awesome selection of stuff over here at Atlantic Tackle, including kids combos, a little bit shorter, smaller reels, really cool colors, easier for the kids to handle. We've got muck and extra tough boots for the little guys. Super cool designs on those, look at that. Looks just like the dad fisherman out there, or the mom fisherman. And really cool stuff for little kids too, including tackle boxes for the little lady, blanky tails for both the kids, keep them warm at night on those chilly winter nights, and even stories about Toothy the Shark. All right, on the 10th day of Christmas, my true love and I got something for ourselves and for our neighbor that just moved in across the street with some of this awesome stuff they've got at Atlantic Tackle. Check out the SPI brass artwork that they've got. These sculptures are super cool. Sono wood sculptures, beautiful stuff. Lots of different artwork from local artists like Nikki Pino and Dean Lowe. Some really cool woodwork that's practical for your house. Dave Wangle made these awesome cutting boards. It's all on the back wall here, right across from the entrance at Atlantic Tackle on the far east side of the building. Beautiful stuff. On the 11th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Frog Tog Ultralight rain suit and a fly hook hat. And we're gonna get specific with price with you. These are really de deals that you're not gonna find anyplace else. You're not gonna beat them. These are 10 bucks, come in three different colors. Lots of different sizes. Blue, khaki, and gray. And all of the hook hats that you see there and all the ones on the main floor are 10 bucks. $10, $10, $20 plus tax gets you out the door. You're not getting wet during a thunderstorm and you look fly doing it. And they'll gift wrap it right here in the back right corner of the building. We're closing this out. Day 12 is coming right up. And on the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me some super cool Atlantic Tackle swag. You like that, don't you? Check this stuff out. Hats for the ladies. Hats for the guys. It's getting chilly out there now, man. It's time to put something up on top. Super cool. Atlantic Tackle custom belt. All different shapes and sizes. Hats. Too many to name, but awesome styles. Got the Maryland theme going, the Ocean City theme going, short sleeve branded t-shirts, long sleeve branded t-shirts, long sleeve performance branded t-shirts, a couple of different designs, super cool sweatshirts, keep you warm on those cool nights during the, the winter. And check this out, right? Insulated for your drink, you put it right in the front. Oh, and yes, that's attached. Just one of the many cool things you're going to find here at Atlantic Tackle. They're open every day, 8.30 until 5 o'clock. Tell them we sent you. If you see any of the stuff that you like during our 12 days of Christmas here at Atlantic Tackle, come on over here and get it and tell them we said hi. All right? We'll see you after the break for the last couple of minutes of Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. At Spencer Yachts, your ideas can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style and tradition of boat building with a unique look and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Check out Spencer Yachts currently for sale and all other sport fishing yachts available for sale with Spencer Yachts Brokerage at spencerYachtsInc.com.
Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. Meet, touch, hear, and see creatures from across the eastern shore and beyond at the Delmarva Discovery Center and Museum, located in downtown Pocomoke City. Experience a variety of interactive and hands-on exhibits for people of all ages. See our newest attraction, the Wally Gordon River Otter Exhibit, featuring Mac and Tuck, two North American river otters, with live programming daily. For more information, visit DelmarvaDiscoveryCenter.org. The Delmarva Discovery Center and Museum is a registered nonprofit and appreciates the support of the community. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Alright, so we're heading back. Cameraman's got to pick up a kid. I got to pick up a kid. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Head into Harborside Bar and Grill here for a little bit of lunch. But as you can see, the flounder fishing in Ocean City can be really, really good, sometimes late into the season. Flounder fishing's over with. Right now. <laughs> but it can be productive. And there he is, 18 and a half incher. Mama's gonna be happy. Gonna make some fish tacos or maybe some fried flounder sandwiches. I love me some Paralic these dentatas. Make sure you stay tuned for another episode of Hooked on OC next weekend, folks, 7 a.m. every Sunday morning. Until then, peace out.